us in on all sorts of interesting new technology and gadgets, many of which you now see as everyday um, right, everyday uh, occurrences. But Larry sort of tipped us off to the future. Larry, welcome back to Big 550 KTRS. Hey, good morning, McGraw. Did you morning, shave Kelly. your beard or something? I did. Different. Every once in a while, you got to clean up. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, we should say that you told us about that Amazon... Tower. Echo. Oh, the Echo. The yes. Echo, mm-hmm. which now they're now they're running commercials for it. They are. Yes. So now it's fully available. All right. Now, what's going on with the future of f- photography? You know, this this last week we had some interesting announcements from a couple different tech firms. Uh, one of them, a new firm called Light L16, is the new camera they've launched. And essentially, what it is is it's a camera with a whole bunch of cameras. Uh, so as basically smartphones have gotten smaller, cameras have gotten smaller. And what that it's essentially has enabled is, uh, for in this case, they put 16 different cameras on the back of a device that they're trying to sell as a camera for uh, professionals. And the idea being that all these cameras are focused differently. They have different views, uh, different angles on the shot. And so you take the shot once, and then you can adjust it afterward. So it's really, really fun. And so what I brought here in studio is actually an, an early version of this sort of technology uh, that we had back uh, about two years ago. It's called a light field camera from Lightro. It's a company that also does make a product now that you can buy, and generally more for professionals. But here's what's amazing about this. I don't even know how to do right? what it, I do it, with it. It doesn't even look like a camera. It kind of looks like a... I didn't even know. It's like looks a square like a box. pencil box. <laughs> yeah. So the idea being that there's a whole, an array of lenses inside of that. So when you take the picture, it just absorbs essentially all the light from the scene and allows you to refocus and edit the picture after you've taken it. So what's amazing is uh, you take a selfie, you take a picture with someone, and the mm-hmm. worst possible case scenario is that it's super, super blurry, and you, you're pretty much screwed at that point. Your picture's gone. Right. right. What this allows you to do is take the picture, and then after the fact, you can click and adjust and adjust the blur, adjust the focus of the picture after you've taken it, not before. It's a little bit crazy, and I've got some examples here uh, that we'll show on the stream that I took with that camera. Uh, so it's 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 really How neat. How do you, adju- you adjust it on... Where though? So uh, this is some software that you plug oh, in, okay. and it, it imports all your pictures. And so, so then, if you, you have one it. and it's a little bit blurry, you can click on like say the face of the person you want, and all of a sudden it's super sharp. Oh, it's in wow. focus. Okay. And it's ready to be now used. I take a picture. My sister Kelly loves to take pictures with her eyes closed. Mm-hmm. How does it? How does it solve that problem? It doesn't solve that problem. It doesn't solve that problem. <laughs> no, no. All that's... right. However, have you seen the new Apple camera? Supposedly, this thing. If you take a picture and Kelly has her eyes closed, you can rewind the still picture to when her eye was open. So Apple, Explain Apple, that. Apple did a little bit of, of software magic. There's actually not a lot of hardware there. What it is is that b- about a couple seconds before you click the snap picture on your phone, it's actually recording video in the background. And then a couple seconds after you're done taking the picture, it's still recording video. So that allows it to kind of roll back, get that perfect shot, or enable, I know if you have the new iPhone update, if you click and hold, you can kind of do an animated, almost a GIF of the, of the uh, photo. <laughs> it's the same crazy. basic. It's very clever. It's very clever. So, so the long story short is that all this uh, changes in the mobile industry for cameras uh, are really creating really small uh, sensors and small lenses that then allow you to do really interesting and innovative things like that. And eventually this is going to circle back away from the professional and be in your phone. So that when you take that selfie, it's always in perfect, you know. Okay, so the the Light L16 camera takes Mm -hmm. up to 52 megapixels? Yes, so since the idea is it has 16 different lenses and 16 different cameras on the back, all pointed different directions. Some of them are wide angle panoramic, some of them are short. And so what it does is at any given point when you take the picture with this this new light L16, up to 10 of these cameras fire at once. And then it uses some software magic essentially to stitch them all together and make a 52 megapixel image, which is a very, very large image. So you could make, this is, all right, so is this as good as a Canon where you change the lens and stuff? Uh, you know, I, I we'll, have to, we'll have to wait to see. It's definitely aimed at the same crowd. Right. This is, da- you know, and as far as megapixels, sure, it's up there with megapixels. We'll have to see as far as quality goes. How uh, much How much does this, this 16 camera device the new one cost costs nearly seventeen hundred dollars so this is definitely for but the you're prosumer, buying 16 cameras essentially <laughs> but i think the takeaway is that this technology is going to end up being in your phone uh in the, the not too distant future because the technology was spawned from right phone. what so. happens what i mean then we're not going to carry on cameras anymore right we're just, i mean exactly i think you're going to carry on your phone and i mean mm-hmm. you're, you're you're seeing that more and more they right. always say the best cameras the camera you have with you 
which mm-hmm. is your phone nine times out of ten. Right. But I mean, the the year years ago, where I mean, I still have a digital camera, mm-hmm. a small little point and shoot digital camera that I have, but Can I took it on the it? trip and I use my phone all the time because yep. it was just right there. After uh, you know, a couple of years ago, I had the same thing. I had DSLRs, I had point and shoot cameras, right. and actually recently I've sold all of them because even when I went to China or I went to the Middle East, I, I took my phone and Use I took pictures phone. with my phone, and yeah. they're great. Yeah, I mean, so. there's a, there's a there's a place for the for the super high end camera sure. if you want to do all that type of stuff, but just regular pictures. I mean, you can't beat the regular cameras now because they're they're you know 12, 15 megapixels. You can blow them up. You know, big. All right. Absolutely. Larry Stenneback, uh with um, First Rule Film as well as uh, Pelopidus. He's our R&D guy. All right. Put your lab coat on and back to the basement. Yes, sir. <laughs> State 23 here. Big 550.